Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a ROM for the HD2 um, which is based on the latest MIUI ROM by the MIUI team. Uh, it's by XDA developer Lang Thang who's ported it over to the device. Um, as you can see from the, uh, the first impression here, it looks kind of iPhone-like. You have your four icons there along your dock. You've got sort of uh, smooth cornered square type icons. Um, multiple pages uh, <coughs> the best thing is though it's actually Android even though it looks like an iPhone um, it's not and this gives you all the great advantages of, and advantages of Android like uh, widgets on the home screen that you can't get on the iPhone um, or that you can't get without jailbreaking uh, you can have cool transitions from page to page like that um, you can just have a number of things, a uh, great little pull down menu here, which I find is quite useful. So, yeah, it's um, it's quite a nice ROM. This is the first time I've used an MIUI ROM, and I'm pretty pleased with it. I like the look, I like the feel, it's smooth, it works, everything's, you know, compatible as it would be with a normal Android ROM. Um, I think, uh, as far as I know, I think this was kind of like it was an Android ROM uh, originally and then they sort of stripped it down and redesigned the UI from the ground upwards so it's a totally different experience to what you would get obviously when you go into the apps from the marketplace they look the same but the stock applications like settings uh, call like dial pad uh, the browser they're all they've all been redesigned to look uh, well different or iPhone like so I'm going to start showing you some of the features. So the first thing you'll notice here at the bottom is the four icons. So these are some of the main things that you'll use on your phone. So the first one's going to be the phone. Here you can see it's completely different from the Android, the stock Android application. And you'll notice that if you can read this here, it says call log empty, which is pretty handy because it shows you a call log you know on top of the dial pad so you can quickly access uh, recent calls stuff like that if I go back show you the phone book you can see it's quite smooth it runs very smooth so you know there's no troubles even though it's a port um, and it's like a redesign of the Android UI everything seems to be running rather well so if I go uh, down here you can see sort of also along the side just like an iPhone phone book you can see you can tap the numbers takes you up the list also a handy dial pad shortcut there at the bottom you can sort your contacts into groups and you can also add favorites which is pretty handy if we go into the messaging um, threaded email threaded mail even or threaded messages just like the iPhone you can create a new message here type in things there um, compose it in this box here it's the same well unfortunately I've, this is one of the things I noticed that hadn't changed in the UI was the keyboard or the keypad and um, the on-screen keyboard seems to be the same style as uh, the stock Android one but if I go into one of the threads you can see you have a nice little uh, sort of note kind of thing here uh, going on instead of the iPhone speech bubbles you have uh, note type uh, text you also have uh, your contact there at the top. You have the uh, call button, so I can choose to call myself. Um, and you get an iPhone like screen when you're dialing someone, which is pretty cool. Next thing is a browser. Not really been changed that much, however, the options uh, do stay in keeping with the UI. So this is what uh, options come up like in the browser, but it, you do get the same options. So it is the stock browser, but with a different feel to it. You also have the marketplace, you have music, camera, you have all, all sorts of things. One cool thing I thought was the tools. Uh, when you tap that, it brings you into a small interface without taking you to a whole application. It kind of brings up a little widget. Uh, you can tap the X to go back. You have things that you might need uh, on a regular basis, which is pretty cool. Also, File Explorer that comes with the application, or comes with the ROM is cool. You can browse 
uh, via different file types also at the bottom um, it has a breakdown of things that are taking up space on your device taking up memory and there's also an FTP um, file server which is pretty cool um, camera application also been redesigned uh, you get you know like another again like an iPhone like uh, camera application music's pretty cool this is one of my favorite things you can drag it down to go to the library if I start from the home screen so you've got all songs here artists albums folders playlists and search all the things you'd expect from a music player really you can create new playlists or use ones that you already have loaded onto your device you can also browse by folder which is pretty cool it's a handy feature um, also uh, I believe the application will actually pull song lyrics um, if your song if the song that you have is recognized which is pretty cool also has an equalizer as you can see at the bottom there uh, Mario theme tune another thing I like is the music fades out when you pause it and then when you play it fades back in which is pretty cool you can uh, rearrange stuff here if there was more songs you could rearrange uh, you could rearrange the playlist there you can see I'm dragging it down up and down which is pretty cool um, settings I'll show you some of those this is quite cool it's uh, organized into groups at the top so you have common personal system and programs so again like an sort of an iPhone like interface just like the iPhone you have airplane mode at the top Wi-Fi settings things like that all settings uh, that you'd expect to have on a normal Android phone are on there so it's not really any need to go into them just went on it to show you the UI <coughs> um, all the things also seem to be themed uh, in the same way which is pretty cool so if I go into uh, say calendar when I bring up the menu it's also themed the same which is cool um, one of the coolest things has got to be the notification uh, drop down as you can see here it says tethering or hotspot active so it has got a built in application for uh, tethering uh, internet tethering or making your device a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot at the bottom if I press toggles here you have loads of useful toggles you have brightness, Wi-Fi, data, volume, backlight um, the list goes on all the things that you'd need there which is probably one of the best features of the device if I swipe over um, go into theme manager that's another cool feature of MIUI you can actually go online and look at all the featured or the latest themes and you can just download any ones you want if you click on a theme the thumbnail should enlarge in a second and it'll show you basically what the theme is going to look like you can swipe through the screenshots also if I swipe down it tells you which components the theme comes with so like this one comes with a lock screen and icon icons wallpapers and all sorts of other stuff as well and um, that's basically it for MIUI uh, it's just sort of a cool looking ROM really uh, it's updated quite frequently um, the the thing is though it's not you can't just go and download it from the MIUI website as it support uh, the HD2 is not officially supported but I will leave a link in the description to the ROM I'm using here so if you fancy the look of this ROM then go ahead and click the link uh, check it out leave a comment whatever um, and if you want to see more then subscribe um, and I'll see you guys in the next video